Dear friends, preparations of alkene, how you prepare the alkenes? So you have a lot of hair. If you have the alkene, it undergo pyrolysis at 60 degrees Celsius. And if you have the triple bond, it react with the sodium liquid ammonia, that is the brick reduction, and palladium, calcium carbonate, barium sulfate, and the linear catalyst. Uh, it gives the alkenes. Now, from the sodium and liquid ammonia, you will get the trans, and from the uh, linear catalyst, you will get the cis alkene. Now, you can see that from the alcohol, it undergo reaction with the sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid and aluminum oxide, it gives the alkene. Now, pyrolysis of ester, you will get the alkenes. Pyrolysis of triethylamine oxide, you will get from the cope elimination, you will get the alkenes. Pyrolysis of tetraalkyl aluminum ions, you will get the alkenes. And if you have the this type of derivative of dicarboxylic acid, you will get the Hoffman products, less stable alkene or major products. Now, you can see the preparation of alkenes. If you have the aldehyde uh, by Wittig reaction, you will get the alkenes. If you have the dialkyl copper lithium, it react with the alkene chloride, you will get the alkene. If you have this uh, RCH2CH2X, it undergo reaction with alcoholic KOH, you will get the alkenes. If you have this two sub substrate, it react with the zinc dust under heating, you will get the alkenes. If you have this al dial halides uh, compound, it undergo zinc dust and higher alkene, you will get the alkenes. Now, properties of alkene. If you have the alkene, it undergo reaction with the H2, it give the alkenes. Undergo reaction with the X2, you will get the dialkyl alkene. If you have this uh, HX, you will get this uh, alkyl halide. If you have the H2 and H2, no reagent, you will get this alcohol. And if you have alkene, react with the H2 and OH, you will get the alcohol. For, with the BS3 and hydrogen peroxide, you will get uh, the uh, alcohols with the acetic anhydride and water and reductions with the sodium borohydride, you will get this alcohol. Now, properties of alkene, you can see if you have alkene, it reacts with chromium oxide, KMnO4, and osmium tetroxide, you will get the glycol. If you have the silver oxide, they are followed by the hydrolysis, and followed by hydrolysis with the acid, you will get the glycol. Uh, it reacts with the carbonyl compound, you will get this uh, um, carbonyl compound with the alkenes. Now, another side, you can see the reaction with the Marikonkov's rule, so you will get these products. If you have the diazomethane, it gives the cyclic addition of the carbenes. And with uh, Cl2 at 500 degrees, a allylic substitution occurs with the NBAs. And combustions, it gives the carbon dioxide and water. Now, properties of alkene, you can see the with selenium dioxide, you will get this product. If you aluminum sulfate, you will get isomerizations. With the O2, you will get the combustion product, carbon dioxide and water. With the CO and H2, you will get the aldehyde. With the CO and H2, you will get the aldehyde derivative. With the phosphoric acid and C carbon monoxide and water, you will get this product. And lastly, you will get the acid.